good morning in this class we will learn how to draw the projections of a pyramid okay in different positions so we will take a square pyramid okay which is resting on HP on one of the base edges okay so uh, when the one problem one type of problem will we be when the axis is inclined to HP at 45 degrees and to VP at 30 degrees okay the next type will be the axis is inclined to HP at 45 degrees appears to be inclined to VP at 30 degrees and the third type will be the axis is inclined to HP at 45 degrees and the edge on which it is resting on HP is inclined to VP at 30 degrees okay so these are the three types of problems which you will get so whether it is a square prism pentagonal prism or hexagonal prism oh, sorry uh, square pyramid or pentagonal pyramid or hexagonal pyramid okay the procedure of solution will be same so we will take a simple square pyramid you can see this is a square pyramid which has a square base and uh, slant triangular faces okay and slant edges this is called as the slant edge okay it is called as the slant edge now the initial position for these three types of problems will be like this you imagine the pyramid to be completely resting on hp okay so that the edge uh, the base edge which is resting on hp should be to your right okay this is the edge and it should be perpendicular to vp it should be perpendicular to the vertical plane so in this position you have to draw the top view okay so in the top view what you see you see a square and the edges slant edges joining at the center okay that is what you see in the top view so we will draw the initial position So I have drawn the XY line here. So the initial position in the top view, the pyramid appears as a square. So I'll draw a square of the dimensions of the side which is given. Whatever may be the dimension that will be given to you in the problem. Okay. So this will be the top view, initial top view. I'll name the corners as A, B, C and D. Okay. A, B, C and D. Now, uh, find the center by drawing two diagonals, center of the square. Okay. So, this is the center of the square and this will be the axis. The top end of the axis will be O. The base or the bottom end will be O1. So, the top end is visible to you, the base is not visible, the bottom end, therefore it will be in brackets. Now, in prisms, you didn't join the corners to the apex. But here in pyramids, you can see, if you look from the top, all these edges, they are meeting to the corners and they will be seen from the top view. So, these edges, you should show in the top view. Uh, this will be in case of pyramids okay so join all the corners to the center here whether it is a square prism or a 
pentagonal sorry whether it is a square pyramid or a pentagonal pyramid or a hexagonal pyramid so you have to show like this the slant edges joining to the apex o oh. so this will be the top view the to project the front view from the axis draw the projector up to x y line then from there take the height of the pyramid or the length of the axis that will be given to you in the problem okay so whatever it is you take the length of the axis or height of the pyramid so this will be the end o dash this will be the end o1 dash okay now to complete the front view draw the projectors from the top view okay so this will be as i said if you look from here a b is visible c and d are invisible points so you will get the points a dash and b dash c dash will be invisible and d dash will be invisible so join this to the apex this is what you see in the front view okay so when it is like this okay this is the top view if you look from here it is the top view if you look from the front this will be the front view a triangle okay and the axis i told you the axis is the imaginary line joining the center of the base to the apex now the next position is the hp condition always when the pyramid is resting on hp the hp condition should be fulfilled first so we will fulfill the hp condition now here uh, one uh, rule you have to follow okay while hand sketching okay while, uh, for doing uh, while doing it in the software it is easy okay so for hand sketching you have to follow one rule what that is is instead of taking the inclination of the axis okay you can take the inclination of the base so here you know the axis is perpendicular to the base okay so suppose the axis is inclined to hp at 45 degrees then the base will be inclined to hp at 90 minus 45 that is 45 degrees suppose the axis is inclined to hp at 40 degrees then the its base will be inclined to hp at 90 minus 40 that is 50 degrees okay so uh, you have to always in case of pyramids projection of pyramids you have to always take the inclination of the base then the inclination of the base will be 90 minus theta that is the inclination of the axis okay otherwise you will go wrong because uh, sometimes the edge or corner on which the pyramid is resting on hp will come below the xy line so to avoid that you have to take the inclination of the base so in this case the axis is inclined to hp at 45 degrees so the base will be inclined to hp at 45 degrees that is 90 minus 45 again it is 45 degrees so which is the base here in this figure a1 a dash and b dash is the base so you know always when the pyramid is resting on hp on the hbc that hbc must always be on the xy line so this is b dash and c dash in brackets now draw the base okay so that it is inclined to hp at 45 degrees so this is 90 minus 45 that is 45 degrees okay so draw the base equal to this length okay this 
then take the draw the axis perpendicular to the base equal to the length of the axis now join this So this this is a dash and d dash in brackets. Then again join this. This will be o dash and this will be o one dash. Okay. So if you measure this angle, which the axis makes with the x y line, it will be forty five degrees. So you have fulfilled the condition that. The axis is inclined to HP at 45 degrees. Now project the top view. So from A dash, draw a perpendicular projector. From the previous top view, draw a horizontal projector to cut that. So this will be your new A. And again from D, draw the horizontal projector. This will be new, your new D. Similarly, with from b dash and c dash draw a vertical projector and from the previous top view draw the horizontal projector you'll get the point b and from here c draw the horizontal projector you'll get the point c okay then the axis o1 draw the projector from here vertical projector from the previous axis O, draw the horizontal projector in the top view so the point at which they mean that will be O1 okay now you have to project the apex so draw the projector from O dash vertical projector okay from the top view sorry from the previous top view O draw the horizontal projector to cut this so this will cut here this will be O ok so you have got the four points of the base and the apex now apply the rules of visibility all outlines are visible lines so join all the outlines here D to A, A to B and B to O. Okay. Next, you, you see this B dash and C dash. To draw the top view, you have to look at the front view from here. So, this B dash and C dash are hidden to you. So, a line joining two hidden points will be a hidden line that is an invisible line so draw a dotted line here to join b dash b and c so next what about d and o when you look from here d is visible o is visible so that will be a full line what about a and o a and o again a is visible o is visible so this will be a full line so this will complete the top view okay next is the this is the hp condition okay this is the initial position and this is the hp condition Next is the VP condition. What is the VP condition? The axis is inclined to VP at 30 degrees. Okay. So, which is the axis? You have to draw the axis here. Dot and dash line. So, this will be the axis. O1 and O. If you measure this. This will be the apparent length of the axis or the top view length of the axis okay so top view length of axis or it is the apparent length of the axis like 
okay now next is the vp condition that he says the axis is inclined also inclined to vp at 30 degrees so what you do you have to find the apparent inclination you have the apparent length you have to find the apparent inclination because as you know in case of uh, line which is inclined to both hp and vp you will not uh, be seeing the true inclination either in the top view or in the front view so you have to find the apparent inclination in the top view now to find the apparent inclination first draw the 30 degree line here just below the x line draw a line parallel to x line then take the 30 degree line so this angle is 30 degrees this is the true inclination with vp therefore you have to take the true length of the axis so take the true length of the axis from here with this as radius true length as radius okay r from here true length of the axis as radius with this as center cut the 30 degree line which you have drawn okay so this will be it draw an arc to cut the 30 degree line so this is one end we will call it as end O this will call it as O1 the base corner of the axis so we will draw the axis here dot and dash line uh, sorry uh, not now uh, this is the true length of the axis and true inclination now what you have to do you have to find the apparent inclination therefore draw the locus of O here draw the locus so this length will be equal to true length and this is true inclination with VP 30 degrees is true inclination with VP so you have drawn the true length and of the axis and true inclination and drawn the locus now to find the apparent inclination take the apparent length of the axis from this top view o1 and o find the length take the apparent length with that as radius with o in the center cut this locus which you have drawn so this will not be o this will be your o now okay if you join o and o1 that will be the axis so we will draw the axis dot and dash line now you have to transfer this top view in this position ok so what I will do I will just first draw the transfer the edge B and C so how far it is from O1 I will measure this distance ok towards O correct so from here I will measure this distance towards O ok this distance and I will draw the line perpendicular to the axis this line will be perpendicular to the axis so it will be a dotted line as you can see next <coughs> I will measure this distance from here to here and here to here ok draw line perpendicular lines from there this will be the corner B this will be the corner C this will be the corner D and this will be the corner A ok now I will complete the sketch here this stop you in this position so I will join C and O I will join B and O then O and D then A and D hmm, sorry A and O so this will complete the top view in the 
given position when the axis is inclined to hp at 45 degrees and to vp at 30 degrees so how to find the apparent inclination measure the angle which the axis makes with this line it will be more than 30 degrees okay this is the beta apparent inclination of the axis measure and write how much it is okay so now project the front view so it is actually like this see initial position hp condition and now it is vp condition okay the apex is nearer to u the base is away from u now project the base first you know B and C are on the XY line, so we'll draw the projector, vertical projector from B to get B dash, new B dash, and C to get new C dash. Similarly, draw the vertical projector from A and the horizontal projector from the previous front view so that it cuts the vertical projector at a dash similarly for d dash draw from d draw the vertical projector okay and from previous front view draw the horizontal projector we'll get d dash okay then o the apex draw the vertical projector and from here previous to front view draw the horizontal projector you will get O dash okay then O1 draw the vertical projector from O1 and from the previous front view draw the horizontal projector to make that this becomes O1 dash so O dash O1 dash is the axis in the front view okay so you have got the all the four points of the base and also the apex now apply the rules of visibility all outlines are visible lines so we'll join all outlines a dash and b dash is the outline b dash and c dash that is the outline c dash and o dash okay then o dash and a dash so this is the outline so all outlines are visible lines okay now if if you want to draw the front view you have to look at the top view from here so if you look from here a and b are visible but the point d is invisible okay so here the point d dash will be invisible point so all lines joining visible point and invisible point will be invisible lines therefore a dash and d dash will be a invisible line so dotted line you draw invisible line d dash and c dash also will be a invisible line and d dash and o dash also will be a invisible line okay so this completes the front view this is how it looks in the front view Oh, oh sorry one more point we have forgotten b dash and o dash so this will be a full line yeah because if you look from here b is also visible o is also visible so a line joining two visible points is a visible line so this will complete the front view okay so in the next session i'll teach you how to draw the projections of the 
square pyramid which, whose axis is inclined to HP at 45 degrees and appears to be inclined to VP at 30 degrees okay so uh, this if you have, if you know how to if you learn how to the procedure to draw the projections of a square pyramid the same procedure you can follow for pentagonal pyramid on and hexagonal pyramid okay